Greetings, this is Greg Bem, one of the ICC librarians. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate accessing and using ScienceDirect Health and Life Sciences. From the SEC Library homepage, click on A to Z Databases. Once you click on that link, you will be taken to this page. From here, click on the letter S to be taken to the databases that start with the letter S and find ScienceDirect Health and Life Sciences. Click on that link to open this database in a new tab. The Science Direct main page here is for advanced search. At the top of the screen, we have the Science Direct logo and title. We can browse the journals and books that are available through our database here. We can also go to our account. Note that accounts are free, but you have to create one. And then you'll also note that Spokane Falls Community College is listed in the upper right. Spokane Falls Community College shares access to ScienceDirect with Spokane Community College, which is why it says Spokane Falls in the upper right. This is the advanced search screen. We can use the search bar to enter any terms that we want to search for. And then we can also use the variety of boxes here to filter if we want to. There are additional fields we can expand to include. We can also see recent searches that have been done in this browser. Let's search for the, what we searched for previously, which is cancer. Note that when we type in any word into the find articles with these terms box, it's going to provide some autocomplete options. This may be helpful when you're doing your research. I'm going to just stick with cancer and go down to the blue search button and click search. This is going to open up the search results screen. Note that ScienceDirect does provide a helpful disclaimer that says due to the large number of search results, only the last three years are included. Refine your search to see older results. Beneath this, we will see a list of suggested publications which are all centered around cancer of various types. If we wanted to, we could click on View All, and that will take us to all of the 343 publications that show up with the word cancer. This screen has a variety of browsing and searching options as well that we will not dive into in this video. Back on the search results screen for cancer, we will see filters on the left-hand side of the screen. Note that you can set a search, search alert for this search if you want to get notifications when there's new information and new articles are published around this keyword. You can also, on the right, sort your results by relevance or date, and you can go to suggested topic pages in various reference texts on this term. In the middle of the screen are the search results. Note that each search result will tell you what the source type is, for example, research article. It'll tell you if the source is open access or freely available to the public. It'll give you the title of the article, publication information, the authors, and then several links for accessing the article and its information. You can view the PDF directly. You can go to the abstract. You can look at extracts. You can look at figures. And there are different ways to export this source. Click on the title to go to the record page. The record page with ScienceDirect is very robust. It also includes the full text, which I am showing briefly as I'm scrolling down here. At the top of the record page, you'll note that there is publication information, as well as the title and the full list of authors, some of the tools that you can use with this article, including the citation tool. And then on the left, the full outline of this page, followed by figures, tables, and extras. On the right, you can go to the journal. You can also go to recommended articles that are related to this one, and you can see metrics for this article. If you want to view the PDF of this article, just click on the View PDF button. It'll open the PDF in a 
new tab if you have access to reading your PDFs in your browser, or it'll load it in your PDF reader. This concludes the overview of Science Direct. If you have any questions, reach out to the SEC librarians. Be happy to help. Thanks so much for watching and take care.